working on the design of a English horn gouger. I finally got it finished a few months ago and I had it prototyped so that I could uh, work with it and see what it needed. I combined several elements. So we have the guillotine, which used to be separate, is now as part of it, which most of these machines have guillotines with them. This is now stainless steel. The blade is also stainless steel, very sharp. This handle is quite strong, so it cuts through cane very easily. There's no stress involved. I have a bigger post here, which is also adjustable, and you can move it to and fro to accommodate the bed or if you have other beds you work with. And then I combined what I thought were the two best elements of the oboe gougers. The V2 had a an all-aluminum guide carriage. It was somewhat lightweight but had a nice ergonomic, had a really nice feel to it. And I, I really like the way that works, the, the V2 oboe gouger. Very simple but very easy to use and uh, has a nice compact feel to it. And so I combined that, but in brass, with the height adjustment from that uh, machine also. The blade height adjustment, that is. And then I took the height adjustment for the overall carriage from the all-brass gouger and fixed a few things with that and incorporated that. And then I combined the bed and the bed height plate together as one, so it's machined, because it's quite a long length, and when it's machined together, it'll ensure a more uh, even level uh, for the finished cane. But I did get a prototype and it arrived in stainless steel and I think they had difficulty machining it. So I've since changed that and it is now going to be in brass, which is fine. It works fine that way. I also made the um, guide rail is 10 millimeters now. And the machine is designed so that it's is scalable for both oboe and English horn and possibly uh, different uh, instruments like perhaps the uh, uh, Baroque gouge, which is I'm, I'm thinking of incorporating, which is a slightly wider, uh, bigger diameter cane, and I think it'll fit. So what I did was I've made some commonalities between the different gougers, so they're interchangeable with the base plate. And that means this guillotine, the holes here are the same dimensions as the oboe guillotine. And the bed uh, distances here and the size of the uh, slots are also compatible with the oboe machine so that it's possible that you could combine an oboe setup on this similar base plate. So what I'm shooting for in the future is fewer parts but more interchangeability, which is really helps me probably more than the user. But if you are... Uh, good, you know, at sort of uh, interchanging these parts, then it would be, uh, these things are scalable. Like I said, we have a bigger 10 millimeter rod, which in the this third generation oboe gougers uh, will go to this, uh, they'll be a standardized uh, size. It still has the aluminum clips. You can get PLA clips, which are, uh, they're printed plastic. The guide is also, also interchangeable, so it does fit these rails. And I will have a um, different guide sizes because uh, this English horn seems to have a lot more varied setups than the oboe. The guide now is, is I think it's around 12 uh, millimeters, so, but some people like guides to be uh, 13 millimeters. So that is definitely doable with this interchangeable setup. Uh, these things can be taken out and replaced. I did have it manufactured, and I did uh, put... Uh, prototype together and I will show you what that looks like. I did attempt to do a PLA printing of the gouger to get an idea overall of what it would look like and size wise and the bed and so on. It does it's not really functioning but it does give kind of an idea, a rough idea of how it's going to turn out in terms of uh, the overall space that it's going to occupy. Uh, but the real test, of course, is uh, having a prototype. That's what this is. And it's very solid piece of machinery. It's also very heavy. It's got a 15 millimeter thick base. It's anodized aluminum. And like I described earlier, the um, bed is incorporated with the height plane here so that it's when it's machined, this and this are 
even and level. All these planes are level and even, so that helps the outcome. The cane stops are embedded. They are part of the bed, which works quite well. The You can see that the, the guide is a double radius guide, but slightly so. Not as dramatic as perhaps other double radius machines because really for me the difference between the single and the double has more to do with the tone than the strength of the gouge. And single radius machines have a bit more ring in the reed, I think, than the double radius do. And for the English horn, I think what a lot of players probably would like is to get ring because there's plenty of tone with an English horn. You don't have to worry about tone. It's it's getting it to, to really to the back of the hall. And so that's why this double radius is slightly not as dramatic. It's uh, I think it's 5.7 on one side and it's 6 on the other radius and it's I turn it at 15 degrees um, so that the larger side is on the outside, smaller is on the inside. And the blade is actually a very simple curve. I believe it's 50, 50 degrees or actually a 40 degree cutting angle. So it does cut quite nice. The height system is that I've used with the all brass gouger. And this is, um, is locked now, but this you can uh, adjust it by turning this uh, micrometer head. Have you, there's got to be some force here. There is a spring loaded system in there to hold it together, but it should be placed on the bed to do that. The blade is stainless steel. This is a nice feature here. It's um, you can actually put your hand on it. It's very it's embedded into the uh, that part is actually goes into the guide carriage, so that's very stable. Has the internal blade adjustments, uh, and this is an external on the back side, which also serves as a bump stop uh, when you raise it. It's a 10 millimeter, like I described earlier. And this is a very strong guillotine, it's a super strong. So it's a really nice piece of hardware, very well made, works well also. So let's, uh, I think this will cut. Really see. And I will have to work on the blades a little bit, but it gives a nice chip, the length of. The final measurements are 70. 55, which I think is what you guys use, English horn players use. I'm not that familiar with it. But I'm working with someone in Pittsburgh, and I'm hoping to have these by May, the latest, for you to uh, purchase. Not sure of the price, but it'll be just north of 15, maybe 16, depending on how the economy goes and where I have the parts manufactured, etc. But I think it's really uh, a nice machine that you'll be able to look forward to be very reliable and dependable. So until next time, best wishes.